Welcome to In The Studio. My name is Calum, and in the studio with us today, we have two special guests who have joined us all the way from, uh, well, all over the place, really, the NT in Western Australia. We have Terence Long, uh, who's from the Gumbalanya Station, and Robbie Kelly from uh, Roebuck Export Depot in WA. Thank you for joining us today, and we're here to talk about an event that you guys uh, were a part of, and you went over to Indonesia recently uh, as a part of an exchange program that was set up with Helene Australian Livestock Traders and the ILC subsidiary company, uh, Australian Indigenous Agribusiness. So welcome today. Thank you for having us, yeah. You're both stockmen, and uh, you went over to Indonesia. What was that like, firstly? I mean, have you guys ever left the country before? No, it was a first-time experience going overseas, and... Got to meet all them Indonesian bugs in that ranch called Shillong Ranch. They took us in and showed us around, done a few um, horseman skill training with them, like just a little bit of exchange knowledge, like I would do it this way and they do it that way, yeah. Was there any big difference between how you guys do it here and how they do it? Yeah. Big difference. What was anything like that? You'll be- um, to me, to see all them, like how they take pride with working with all their cattle, oh. taking up mountain number in a paddock, and they make it look easy <laughs> yarding up without a helicopter or oh, really? bikes or horse. Yeah. Only, only a few horse and cloaks on foot, and just straight in the yard, just pretty smooth. Must be a different type of cattle that just go along with it a bit more easy. It must be. Uh, and what about yourself? How how did you find it? Yeah, I thought it was a real big thing. Good eye opener. Going to see what happens to the cattle after they leave Australia. So yeah, from on the boat, we got to visit a boat on one day and see them unloading. Their trucks are a lot different to ours. They're very small. Only hold about six. Seven head of cattle, so uh, one truck and only hold about six. Yeah, and we so got those three big uh trailers road that come trains, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they and don't yeah. have road train there, eh? just yeah. it's too small, isn't yeah. it? They got like the roads are about this big, yep, <laughs> <laughs> and busy traffic. Mm, got to see the unloading process and then to a few feedlots over there and to an abattoir, so we got to. Go see, through the whole process. See yeah. the end product, yeah. So it was an exchange program. Was uh, Indonesian people come over here as well? Yeah, um, they'll probably send four or two on June or July when we get a kickstart back in the station, like doing all them mustering and all. They'll probably come over then. Mm. They can see what's happening and what what sort of process we do with all our cattle. Was it the the main thing you took away from the uh, exchange over there? Like, were there workshops or anything along those lines? For me, I see um, just working, uh, just going up there and just for a different place and um, them people are pretty cool, like, um, take you in and sort of uh, from... Coming back from there, um, for me, like, main thing I'll say, like, um, um, just meeting all them person out there in that Shillong Ranch, mm. and they were pretty respectful and made a few friends. Would you hire on any uh, of the people that you met over there? Yeah, I will take a minute. <laughs> how about yourself? Like, what was the main thing that you took away? Seeing how those fellas work, they um, don't get... A lot of money for the job they do. So, and yeah, like you're saying, they take a lot of pride and yeah, they work hard and make you think don't take your jobs over in Australia, you know, for granted because those guys do it pretty tough. So you saw the whole process of how it goes through the abattoirs and stuff like that. And it goes to the, even the, the meat market. And then did you guys experience that? Like it being sold and... Yeah, we went up to one meat market, say... 2 a.m. in the morning yeah, they before they started. A wet market. It was wet cool. market, yeah. So they probably slaughtered around midnight, 11 o'clock. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Is that normal? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. 100% oh, on this. They sort of start 9 o'clock and mm-hmm. goes through on that 
time until mm. 2 a.m. in the morning. Everything's usually sold around 6 or 7. So, Is it like the same type of way that we sell it here? Like a little butcher or grocer or something like that? Uh, but a um, bit different. Yeah, nah, just all hanging out, hanging up in the, in the normal walk-in market. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why it's done it so early in the morning, not so hot with the sun. Well, it's still a big business, isn't it? I mean, the amount of uh, cattle that you guys ship out all the time and that they purchase and sell locally in their country, it's fairly large, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. And the amount of population, too many people. Yeah, I think it's about 280 million people in the country. There. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a small country that's got loads and loads of people. Yet Australia only has like 28 million. Yeah. Um, did you go, is, did they, were there cattle yards or anything like that over there? Yeah, they had um, three at the ranch. Yeah. Um, we just went to one of them and they'd done a muster and just done a process for two, three hours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just drafting all these cattle. It was pretty cruisy. All these cattle knew where they wanted to go. So no, oh, okay. no pressure there. Just swing the gate open and mm. yeah. Well, it's, it's also like a jungle there, isn't it? Like, yeah. don't they just the cattle get through jungle, all right? Because we got scrubland all over Australia. Um, they got I think um, their main company before was a palm plantation. Palm oh, okay. Yeah, for palm oil. For palm and, oil, yeah. Yeah, they've just got a section off for their ranch, so all the cattle are in paddocks are underneath the. Plantation. Palm plantation, yeah. And also, you guys must have had some time off, visit the country and everything. You're in like uh, the northern part of Indonesia, in Jakarta, weren't you? Yeah, uh, Jakarta. Bo um, and Borneo, Kalimantan. Yeah. I think it was. Town called, called yeah. Bangalang yeah, Bun. Bangalang Bun or something, yeah. Okay. Got to um, have a trip to see some. Rangatang? Rangatangs. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Full four hours on that trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And going up with the boat and. Are you on a boat? Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty like cruisy, oh, cruisy pretty trip. Cool. Up, uh, in, up into the jungle. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very hot, sweaty. For the whole day, what? Uh, the whole hour, uh, eight hour going, uh, four hours going there, one way and another four hours to come back. That's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anything else you guys would like to talk about or say hello to or anything like that while we got you in the studio? Oh yeah, maybe just think. Um. Australian indigenous agribusiness and Helene stock live export for the opportunity. Eh? It's pretty good and recommend a few other fellas give it a go if they get a chance. So this will be a yearly thing, won't it? Uh, yeah. And uh, With the exchanges from <laughs> okay, okay. the ranch over there too. Oh, cool. Excellent. Uh, I'd like to say for the young fellas, come on, join us. Take the opportunity, mate. You won't get them like that if you stay one place. I, I, I will ask one last question, actually, before we go on. Is I know a lot of people out there are looking for jobs. Is, is it tough being a stockman? Young days, yeah, you'll yeah. get doubt, like, especially on yourself. But as you get older, you sort of look back, you know, what you went through. Sort of look back and you just think about it or laugh about it. But for me, like, getting older now, like, is a big thing, like, took the step up and just kept on going, keep my head up. Mm. Don't run all these other blokes trying to bring you down, but just go your own way and just, yeah, be yourself. It's hard work. Yeah. And yourself? It can be challenging sometimes in the mind and physical, but you become a stronger person once you get fight through it, so, yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to uh, I'll, I'll probably catch up with you sometime in the future and see how it's going along with uh, your businesses as well. Yeah, no, I thank you.